Hey Gamebox here! So, Most Feared Part 2 is almost upon us, and I want to go through some of the cards we're getting, my thoughts on it, some uh, prep work to do. Before I start, I want to talk about Series 3 starting next Friday. Kralo mentioned it on Good Morning Madden. Uh, I think I'm going to do a video specifically on Series 3. Maybe I'll wait till Market Monday, and we'll talk about some stuff you need to do for that. So, here we are with Casey Hayward up first. Um, fine. Terrible on a theme team still. Mariota. He's actually not bad. Throw power's a little bit low. Not that great on a theme team. But he's got good accuracy, so he'll be fine, actually. He'll be perfectly crimey as a quarterback. Uh, it's funny, because he just got benched. And he's like, most feared. Where the hell's Scary Terry, by the way? I know he got a card a few weeks ago, but we need a Scary Terry for most feared. Feels bad, man. Jason Peters, bad run block. Uh, pass blockings, whatever. Just kind of a, eh, kind of guy. Uh, AJ Green, solid card. Hasn't played a down this year. 86 speed, so most feared. I mean... Promos are basically good times to get guys who haven't played downs um, this year or injured. Tariq Cohen, 88 speed with looseness, more of a catching back, but only has 73 catching. Agility is nice, kind of like a, I don't know, Le'Veon Bell type of, of running back, but maybe he doesn't have the stiff arm like Le'Veon, but still a receiving back, CMC type. Ken O'Neal, he can get enforcer, it looks like, um, and that's his benefit. Basically, he's like another Bobby Wagner out there with that kind of speed, or uh, who's the other middle? Lanier. With that kind of hit power and speed, but at safety. So, a little slow. Uh, Zadarius Smith, they, they did him dirty on the block shit. <laughs> power moves 90. I guess he can get the edge threat stuff or power power uh, specialist. But, yikes, 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 yikes. It's all I'll say right there. That's tough in this meta. Frederick, great run blocking. He's 92 overall. One of the 92 players. Uh, great, you know, run blocker. Not that great against pass block finesse guys. Uh, but he's a solid overall center. Uh, Sue. Nice block shed, nice strength. Going to be a great defensive tackle in a 3-4 right end. So he's fine there, but I'd play him at like a, maybe like a 3-tech right there. Strength kind of doesn't mean as much to me in this game as it does for a lot of other people, but uh, I do like the block shed on him quite a bit. So Denzel Ward, I think, is the best card from this promo that we're going to get the second half. 92 speed, acceleration, agility, man coverage is great. 84 zone coverage is fine. Uh, zones just are, are wild on their own, and, and you really want somebody fast with man and press so you can run a real good man press scheme with him uh Jalen uh Champ Bailey and one other guy Pat Pete there Peyton Manning though okay Peyton Manning a new legend into most feared uh and it's kind of weird this card because we seem to have gotten this card a few months ago a lot of people are upset by his stats his throw power I saw Kralo try to justify it by saying he threw some ducks but that was late in his career now he's on the Colts on the Colts he was one of the only guys in like the NFL that could throw those like uh deep sideline routes and, and, and dot him up right there on the old uh, what, corner concept, egg action. So, slow, hot route master. Um, or at least I assume uh, with awareness. But, man, they did Peyton dirty. It's always awesome to get a new guy. I really hope his, his uh, motion is quick. I hope he gets that A-Rod type of release if they didn't motion capture him specifically or do him specifically. That's what she said. But... I'm a little disappointed in that throw power. That's going to be tough. That's going to be really tough to kind of fit into like tight spaces like Peyton used to be able to do. Uh, but, I mean, Peyton did lead his receivers into a lot of concussions. So, maybe that is a low throw power-ish. He's going to lead into a lot of hit sticks. The rest of the cards, low overall. I'm not going to really go through. Got some solid players. Uh, I know some people of like uh, New England and other teams that are doing really, really well are salty. I think, oh, Steelers got a CB, Nelson. Okay, cool. Um, oh, and a uh, a Baron middle linebacker. Wow, Steelers got two cards. Neat. I know the lower are also don't do anything. Like, they're nowhere near competitive. But still neat. Uh, anyways, let's go through what's going to happen. All right, so what can we see? And I specifically want to go back to these 92s, this Denzel Ward. So when we look at the block, and I haven't checked this out yet, so you're going to be as surprised as I am when I get to here because I wake up super late. So that's why this video is coming out super late because I am a night person, as they call they, I, I'm basically the Night Stalker, uh, for the people that have seen that movie. Wait, wait, is it Night Stalker? Night Crawler? Am I Frank? Anyways, Denzel Ward, uh, does he have a power-up? Yes, he does have a power-up. Okay, power-up. I knew, I knew he did. Why would I ask that question? Alright, so his power-up is currently going for a whole bun's worth. 39k. Now, you gotta ask yourself. Are we going to be able to get this for free? We're getting a new house rules tomorrow, too. We saw Cam Newton at the same exact price, and he was free, right? Earlier, he's about 40 k too. Do I think this price goes up? It's hard to say yes, but it feels like it could have a little bit of potential, but I wouldn't, I'm wouldn't. i not investing in it right now. I think if it was like 10 I'd definitely grab a few. 
but he's already been revealed. Power ups there. Um, I would snatch it though if you're gonna get Denzel Ward. Power him up. I would snatch it right now before people realize they get him for free and then they get him and then they snatch it up. And so, so the demand for him will keep going up, right? Uh, and so that's why I, I, I think there's a lot of upward momentum there for the for the Ward card. Not like I said, not something I'd invest in though. The other ones, Sue's card. We'll take a look at uh, Mr. Sue's current power up for for prepping purposes. So Sue's power up at 21k. Okay, another card that we could potentially get for free. But how demanded are really slow defensive linemen, interior defensive linemen? I wouldn't say a ton. I would not say, but I think that's why I think like a lot more people might go for Denzel Ward. I think he's the flashiest guy. We'll take a look at Travis Frederick's card now. 21k feels about right like again, I would I would buy them at this moment. Um if I were you. Like obviously you could buy it tomorrow morning. That might be better. And more people may be waiting to list in the morning. So maybe you could maybe you can hesitate a little bit. Frederick looks a little bit more demanded than Sue too. So People realize centers were kind of thin at that position. My current center, right now they got Mawai. He's okay, too. So, all solid all around, but I'm going to end up picking up Frederick powering up just so I can get my sprinter or my brawler up to tier uh, the highest tier so I can get plus two speed. But, yeah, I, I would buy those power-ups now if you can. Otherwise, bats and stuff, right? These cards that came out, a lot of the community is angry that they're not quality enough. Do I think they rise the store? No. Like, a lot of the speculation we have for... Um, bats going up in price had to do with like maybe there's a crazy player knowing other players a day ahead of time prepping it into the price i don't feel like we're going to see crazy inflation here um, i don't think anything like that's going to happen at all so really you know we'll have fun re-rolling our bats for the new 92s uh it's 50 50 whether you get one of them it'll look like unless they redo a new set right here for like part two which they totally could add more uh rolls over there for it but yeah a little bit of a of a underwhelming uh, type of day here for most feared, and and the players are releasing. But we'll see what the house rules come out tomorrow. I'm guessing we'll get another week from. I really like house rules. I know the, the win requirement's way too high. I hope they're down to like 50 this next time, or it depends on how long the game take. But yeah, 75 was way too much. I hope EA heard our feedback on that. As for the rest of it, yeah, tranny re rolls are always fun. We don't know of any limited time cards. We're getting a mutt 10 wild card tomorrow, so I don't know if I anticipate any. Uh, these most feared uh, limited time cards, but we could potentially get one again Sunday because we'll have tomorrow we'll have the Mutt 10 and the signature cards in packs. So with those in packs, and then we got a new Legends Saturday, we could get a pot, we could get a limited Sunday, and then maybe into next week, even like a Monday limited. We'll have Team of the Week limited Tuesday, Wednesday limited Halloween, and then Thursday we get signatures again for the day of Halloween and then the Rage period. So that's kind of how I think the content's going to be laid out. No Tyreek yet. Uh, no Miles Garrett. None of those most feared. We, we always seem to get a Suggs card. So where's the Suggs at? What the hell? Is he going to be limited? Or is he coming out in a couple days? I don't know. I'm guessing they still have a couple tricks up their sleeve over the next week since we still are quite a bit away from the actual day of Halloween. The enragement period. And the sucking thing about enragement period this year is that they don't actually... Uh, they aren't auctionable during the enraging period, sadly. So in previous years, we were able to like sell stuff right away when they enrage. Uh, but that won't be the case this year. But I do expect some sort of limiteds in the next week or so that, that theme in with this, just like we got Le'Veon Bell. Uh, but with Redux, I don't know which one will be the last cutoff for Redux. It'll probably be this week's. Uh, maybe Aaron Rodgers or maybe the Mutt 10 card. Uh, I'm guessing are going to be... We'll, we'll find out more about that tomorrow, they said. I'm guessing those are going to be the cutoff for Reduxes. So just letting you know, um, Series 3, but we'll talk more about that in the coming days. Until then, check me out on Twitch, which I'll be live during this video on. And we can talk and you can get your questions answered there. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you later.